So tell us a little bit about what you're doing in the authentication space, because that, that sounds like it's a big part of, of where things are going. And um, is that still a pain point for a lot of uh, the companies that are trying to implement um, TV everywhere or putting TV on, on connected uh, devices and so forth? Yeah, I think it's, it's very crucial. We're actually seeing huge adoption. Um, uh, basically, the industry asked Adobe a couple of years ago to provide a neutral place to basically authenticate devices uh, against subscriptions. The, it's, it's a really uh, it's, it's a challenge if you take this as a as a single company because there's a lot of complexity. There's a lot of um, MVPDs that are involved. So we uh, we basically um, based on demand created Adobe Pass, and that 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 authentication model allows you basically to to um, to use your cable subscription. Um, and log in to the, this premium content on connected TVs, on mobile devices, on the web. Uh, so there's a lot of applications out there. For instance, CNN is, has an iPad application that uses Adobe Pass to authenticate users uh, for the true 24-7 live stream. Uh, I think it's really business model driven. It's less technology um, mm -hmm. model driven. I think the possibilities are there uh, in an application in the browser, authenticated or not authenticated. I think it's it's mostly uh, to ensure the business models work. So as we look out to CES this year, what kinds of devices are we going to see? You think that will um, have this connected ability and and be able to watch video online? I mean, are we obviously we're seeing it in TVs, we're seeing it on smartphones, tablets. Where else are we going to see this? Um, well, I mean, I think the devices there. There's a lot of new device categories coming out, and I think some of them are access, successful, some are less. And I think also the models are, are uh, very different. So, for instance, the, the Samsung Smart TV model is very different than the Google TV model. Um, so Tell us a little bit about that. What do you mean? How are those, how are those two different? I think the Google TV model started off as a browser-based approach, um, so what you initially um, described. So I think it's shifting towards more of the application model. But I don't want to talk for Google and their longer-term strategy. But those are definitely different models, and um, those evolve. Um, I think I think overall what you see is um, there's just a very broad set of devices and very a lot of fragmentation. I think in the video space there are definitely challenges to get on a lot of those devices. Um, well, so like what kinds of challenges? What are you? Content protection, measurement, media monetization. So there's a lot of uh, technology challenges to just be able to reach all those devices. So part of what uh, Adobe does is uh, we have technologies, we have runtimes that run on those televisions. So Air, which is basically flash-enabled applications, is available on Samsung television, on LG, uh, on TiVo. Um, and uh, we're, we're actively um, trying to expand to more di digital home devices to really be able to, to deliver the same application to other devices or to a, a broad set of devices and um, also mobile devices right. without having to rebuild everything and without having to invest in okay. every uh, single device that comes out as a new device. What about market. gaming platforms? Um, I think I spoke with you earlier and you mm -hmm. said you think that's going to be a really big category for uh, as a connected device. Tell me a little bit about what you're seeing there. Well, I mean, I think, I think it's the evolution of, of hardware. I mean, uh, it's, it's basically the televisions have uh, computer-like capabilities. They have VD capabilities and the chipsets becoming less and less expensive. Uh, so it is defi there's definitely uh, a new um, field there for higher-end games. Uh, one thing that, uh, that Adobe um, announced is uh, Air 3 Adobe for television, which has full GPU accelerated, as accelerated graphics. So you basically, in the newer generation devices that will come out in 2012, you will be able to play basically high quality games uh, using the Air platform on those devices. And that is definitely a game changer. It means if you buy the television, you get applications, right. you get a browser experience, you maybe even get a gaming console as great. part of it. So great. I think there's a lot of great things to come. Great.